friends and welcome to a house update vlog. This is the first time I've spoken today but I am so excited to go and see the house. I literally had my outfit picked out last night. My shoes aren't ready. I am just so excited. It's been about a week since I've seen the house and there has been so much progress. If you do like the house update videos please give this video a like so I know and if you're new here subscribe so you can join me on the journey. We are so close to getting to the finish line like I cannot even tell you it doesn't feel real. You see how close I am to being out. So I'm heading into London today and of course we're going to see the house. My dad is coming with me. I'm really excited to just have a day with him because I'm not going to get these when it's done. So I'm really like making the most of things. So we're gonna go see the house. I'm meeting the flooring fitter there because he's starting next week. And then I think we're going to maybe just go and get a coffee somewhere. I'd like to go into a couple of shops because I'm going on a trip next week and I need to see if they've got some like more warm European appropriate clothing. I don't really have many like linen shirts, linen shorts, that kind of vibe and that's what I'm going for. But the weather's been so nice and I think it is supposed to burn off today but it's the greyest sky out there right now. I was expecting like a nice bright blue sunny morning. No, no, no. Now I have something very exciting to share with you. I have a new SPF. I've just started a brand new tube. I've been testing it for for a while. This is the new Skin and Me Oil Free SPF 50. You know how I feel about my SPF. I am a bit of a preacher when it comes to SPF. I have worn SPF every day for the last oh my gosh, six years, seven years, and yeah, it's something I will never stop. I've just made my way through my first tube of this, and I've been getting on so well with it. So essentially, this is a little skincare tube that is completely tailored to me. So I filled out all of my skincare concerns, all of my goals, what I was kind of hoping to achieve from using Skin and Me, and it's being completely tailored by dermatologists to produce this. It contains active ingredients, and of course, you have the signature twist up, so you know when this is going to finish and I mean your next one comes in the post anyway so you don't really have to think about it but more for me this is in my travel makeup bag my travel skincare bag so yes I know when my next one comes in the mail anyway but it's nice to know when it's time to switch it out but the SPF this is such a good formula it's super light quick dry it's not thick I'll try and show you the consistency can you see so it's not super thick, but it's also not that liquidy consistency. And just to note, because I know this will be some people's worries, it doesn't bobble up or bunch up under makeup, thank goodness. So it's a dermatologist designed SPF. That's something I really like about Skin and Me. You know that the products you're using come from people that know what they're doing. It protects you from both UVA and UVB, which is essential. It also has vitamin E in it, which makes it quite a nourishing product. And I'm sure as you can see, it doesn't have that weird blue cast that some SPFs have because that's just so unnecessary, especially on the face. So this is how my skin's looking immediately after. Super hydrated, but not greasy or oily. And it doesn't feel like I have anything on my face. It doesn't feel heavy or anything like this is ready for me to put makeup straight on immediately. If you want to try, you can use the code E MSPF, so MSPF, to get your daily dose up for $4.99 and you will get the SPF for free. So you can try it out. Give it a go. Let me know what you think. I would say give any kind of new skincare at least three months to see if you like it. And yeah, let me know how you get on. I am going to do makeup today. I was umming and ahhing, but I have time, so why not? This is the makeup. I'm leaving my hair down. Basically, I washed it yesterday and didn't style it. So now I just don't think it's gonna style properly. You know, you know how that works. So we're just leaving it. I don't think it looks terrible. It could be like 20 times puffier right now. So I'm feeling grateful for how it is in its current state. I'm definitely gonna end up clipping half the hair up. It just looks a bit crazy. But this is my outfit today. This dress I actually got yesterday. I love, I will link it down below, but it's, I mean, you can't see through it. It's not see-through. I've got like a black bra and you can't tell, but it's quite airy so I think it's kind of perfect for this time of year and then I've got my sambas on which are new I finally managed to get hold of them and I just I really like how they look I didn't get the gum sole I got the black sole so they kind of match really well with this and then for my bag 
probably too many patterns but I'm doing my Goyard St Louis tote and I don't think I'm gonna take a jacket it's gonna be like 20 degrees I'm gonna take a blanket in the car I could just pop a coat in the car I probably should but I don't really know what am I even gonna match with this probably a trench it's that awkward time of year where nobody really knows what the weather's going to be like until we get into the day. Mm, oh, see, I don't want to take a trench. I think like it's a bit much. See, it just looks silly, though, because it's a long dress. Okay, compromise. I'm thinking a cardigan. You can't go wrong with just a knitted cardigan. I don't foresee that I'm actually going to put it on. So it's just, you know, for coziness. Perfect. Just what I wanted in my bag. We're about an hour and a half into the journey. We stopped for coffee and I am so excited. I need this. You know what it is with coffee? It's my little luxury in the day. I could easily go for a day without having it. It's not like an addiction thing. If I was busy and wasn't thinking about it, I wouldn't stop. But I just, I really enjoy it. It brings me joy. I don't know. Let me know. What is your little joy in the day? I've also layered up. I've had a lovely nap so far. I'm very, <laughs> very awake considering how asleep I was five minutes ago. I bought my blanket. Here, I have my cardigan on and you know what we got up at six which is like the normal time I get up and I was saying to dad I don't know why I'm able to nap just randomly for like hour and a half at a time because this is the time I get up every day I don't know maybe it's a, a talent maybe it's a curse who knows as always I'm starting at the top of the house but this time not in the bedroom I'm starting in the ensuite so this is pretty much well pretty much tiled we obviously have these bits here but the flooring is done the tiles on the wall I'm so happy Happy with so these are all tops tiles i don't know if i've spoken you through them but essentially the inspo for this bathroom was the hoxton hotel and the londoner hotel i really wanted like a really dark fun blue or green bathroom with really contrasting grout and like a crazy floor so i'm stood in the ensuite right now and as we walk out this is how the bedroom is looking oh my goodness so the roof lights have been in for a while and up here essentially everything's just been cleared out and next Next up in here we need to do the well not we the builders need to do the second fixings for the electrics the flooring is also going to be laid in i think about a week and then i don't know mm, radiator so this is how it's looking and i am so over the moon with this room every time i come up here it's just so bright and airy and it's really cool seeing it completely empty because i really am getting the gist of you know what's going to fit in here so this is where my sconces are going to be and then obviously my bed will be here, which I really like because it's closer to the Juliet balcony doors. And then there will be plenty of room to walk kind of around the end of the bed. There was a chimney breast here that we weren't going to take out, but it would have meant that you couldn't walk around the end of the bed. And I was like, wait, no, no, no. Like I, I can't keep a chunk of brick in here if it means I can't, you know, walk around the bed. So yeah, we took that out and there's just gonna be ample space. And then of course I have storage down here for, you know, Christmas decorations and all that jazz. But this is kind of where we're at up here. My roof light on the landing brings me so much joy, especially on a bright day. So let's head down. So the majority of progress this week has been downstairs in the kitchen because we're prepping for the floor to go in for then the kitchen to be installed. So up here is pretty same, same. But I mean, there's little bits like stuff's arrived, but downstairs is where there's so much change. So this is how the dressing room's looking. This has been delivered, which is going on my Juliet balcony, just, you know, for safety, so I don't open it up and it's just open to the world. And in here, nothing's really changed. Last time I was here, I showed you the windows are in and now all the surrounds have been done on the windows as well. And like the kind of window sills, they're not proper window sills, but they're kind of like, you know, mini. And then we come around into the other room and this is being used as storage right now, as you can see, but I can show you the windows in here they've been done so as you can see all the surrounds have been done and the window sills at the bottom and i am over the moon with the windows i actually sourced these from my hometown and the windows were something i was so keen to get right and yeah i'm just in love i love the color i love the finish of the hardware i think they look amazing and the size as well incredible throughout the whole renovation i've been really keen to keep things in keeping with how the house would have been when it was well, not when it was first built but like original features back in the day and one of the the things was just how the windows were done with having kind of that strip along the pane and having it in kind of it's not four separate panes but it looks like it is and that's yeah just one of the features that obviously the windows look bigger they probably bring in more light if you have it as one big glass pane but I didn't want to do that because I very much wanted it in keeping with how it would have been and that's why I've chosen a lot of colors as well I have painted the outside of the house and even the colors of the windows they're not white they're like a an off <laughs> they're not cream they're not yellow <laughs> they're not almond white you know that 
that almond white that they paint every new build house that's yellow. They're not that, but they're a, they're like a creamy off-white. They're not stark. I wanted everything to have a bit of depth and a bit of texture and a bit of, yeah, not white. <laughs> I think when you see the colors being painted, actually, you're gonna be really proud of me of how little white there is in this house. There was a few rooms that were gonna be crazy colors and at the end of kind of choosing when I made my decisions, I freaked out and I was like, no, no, no. But I mean, you even seen from the ensuite, that's not white. So not much has really changed in here. The stud wall still needs to be built up for the bathroom and, but the windows are in. So as you can see, this is the bathroom window with the different glass. So it's privacy glass. And again, I just think it looks really, really sweet. But yeah, this is kind of just not been the focus this week because I have my kitchen installation booked in and I can't push it back again. So the goal has been to get the kitchen to the point where the floor can be fitted so the kitchen can be put in. And then whilst all of that's being done by other people, the builders can carry on doing all of this. So yes, just, just like a, I, I genuinely didn't think I'd have so much to think about in terms of schedule and just fitting things together. And welcome to my living room. So this is basically full of my bathroom things. And in the, in the order that things are going, they're gonna be taken out and then the windows are going to be fitted in here. I keep getting asked when, like when am I moving in? Do I have a date? And we have a tentative date, but it depends on whether all things go well. And I'm not listening to the date. The date is like mid July and I'm just not, I'm like, okay, fine. It could be sooner, it could be after. But for me, I have a date when the new alarm system's being put in and I'm not moving in before that, just for safety. But at the same time, if the new alarm system gets put in and the bathrooms haven't been done, I obviously can't move in. But the kitchen date is set. So that's happening unless something goes wrong because I have just walked into the kitchen and the builder thinks that the kitchen company haven't measured a part of it right. But it might just be the drawings we have that are wrong and the kitchen company know because they did come out and measure and I have I have full faith that they have done it properly because they're very good at what they do. So I just need to tackle that one. But if everything goes to plan with the floor being fitted and the kitchen being fitted, then that will be done by the last week of June, which is insane. And then, yeah, it's just finishing off the other bits. So it looks like there's a lot, but it's more just like tying up and the things that haven't been done, like the floor being laid, it's different people doing it. So yeah, I think it'll look really different when, you know, like the, the radiators go in and all things like that. It really feels like it's coming together. And the fact that in, I don't know, three weeks, I could have flooring, a kitchen is just insane to me. But yeah, in this room, this is essentially just a storage room at the moment. The windows need to go in and then everything else needs to get out of here. You'll be happy to know that the fridge is stood up. <laughs> it really, it made me happy to see that too. Look at my beautiful kitchen. I cannot believe how big it feels now. All of the appliances have been moved. So this is basically just being gotten to the point where the flooring can be laid. So my extractor is going in there. That's all been sorted. And yeah, I mean, you can kind of see the goal this week is just to get it worked towards where the flooring fitter can come in and do the floors. It's crazy though, because I haven't seen this room empty for a while because it's had things in it. So walking in here now with it empty, I'm like, it's so big. I am over the moon. I love the roof lights. I think this is going to be crazy. And the fact that the kitchen is just a few weeks away is so exciting to me. It really feels crazy. The back doors have been framed and they're being installed on Monday. And I don't think I've shown you yet on a vlog. Look, my roof light. How crazy is that? It's so, so cool. And I also said, I was like, oh, so like the bit around the roof light, can I climb out the window and sit up there? And they were like, yeah, it's completely safe. You're not actually allowed balconies. Like they don't get past on planning, but I, if I want to step out the window and sit on the roof, I can, which I think is so cool. That's like childhood me would have thought that's the coolest bit of the whole thing. And then these are my outdoor lights. How cool that they're in. I think these are beautiful. Can you see they're like a glass with the ribbed glass. I just think these are gonna look incredible. But yeah, that's how we're doing. The next thing is basically sealing up this room. So the doors are getting put in and then painting, getting ready for the flooring to be fitted. So then the kitchen company can come. So really in two weeks, I will have floors. And in three weeks, a kitchen, which I asked how long the kitchen installation takes. And they said five days, which I think is quite speedy for considering like how many covers there is and how much stuff. But what they do, they put all the covers in first and then they come back to do the worktops. So the worktops won't be in. It will just be like the cupboards and things. Guys, I've just got home. So do you want to come up to the mini furniture? <laughs> Stop it! Not really. I'm here and my baby sister's here and look what they've made me. Sausage rolls. I've had three of them. Thank you. Yeah, they're what? Right. You don't like 
them. I know. Well, I've had half the Are insides. they all cheese? Yeah. What did you do with the outsides? I eat the outsides. Oh. I just don't like the insides. Oh. I gave one of the insides, to, had half of another inside, mm. and threw the other one in the bin. Mm. No, don't do that. Put that in, I'll eat it. I just got a HelloFresh box delivered, which I'll open with you. I forgot to tell you the patio is too small. Well, it's not too small. It's the size we wanted it, but it's not big enough. So Dad keeps joking that all the garden, garden furniture I have to get it has to be mini because it's not going to fit. <laughs> it's really not funny, but it's fine. Someone's mowing their lawn or something. So I do it every day. It's so annoying, but I do work with HelloFresh. This is not sponsored. I just get the boxes as well. So just to clarify, and I try to pick things that I know my whole family will like. <clears throat> <laughs> You're being really strange today. I'm oh, being strange. <laughs> okay, recipe number one. Mm -hmm. Cheesy barbecue pork burger with wedges and rocket and apple salad. Teriyaki sesame chicken with green beans and basmati rice. Go on then, rate my picks. I think you get a 7 out of 10. Mm. You make good choices. I have some parcels that I thought we would open. I think this might be Harry. One of them I know for definite is Harrods. And then I don't know what the other one is. I placed two orders, so it could be those two orders, but I ordered them yesterday, which I get Harrods being next day, but I don't know if the other one will be. So I'm going on a few trips coming up and they are European trips. So I wanted to get some new bits. Sorry, my hair's really bugging me. Oh, my doggy's home from his haircut. How does he look? Oh, I'm so excited. I'm okay, much better. I've just put some lipstick on and put my hair up. I feel a lot more alive. As I said, I'm going away in, actually I'm going away twice to like European summery destinations, both for work. So I have to find some gorgeous outfits to wear for events there. <gasps> oh, this is the bikini top. There's me saying it's for work and here's a bikini. I hope this one fits because I think this is going to be absolutely beautiful, but it may be a little large. It does feel quite big. They just came in, ex uh, sorry, small, medium and large. So yeah, that looks like it's going to be quite big, but I will try it anyway. And then I also got this dress from the Couples. I'm trying to wear less black. It's like a conscious effort that I'm making, but I saw this in the window of the Couples in a couple of places actually, including Geneva, and I was like, okay, I think I would wear that so much. And it's this gorgeous black knitted dress, but it's full length. It's very similar to the Sandro one that everyone's been wearing, but obviously you can't get hold of that one. And it's a little different, you know, it's not exactly the same, so I'm excited to try that one on. And then this box, I don't know what it is. But the trips I've got coming up are really exciting. So I'm going to Milan in like five days. No, what are we today? Today's Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah, five days I'm going to Milan. And then potentially going somewhere afterwards, I don't know yet. And then I'm going to Cannes in June, which for like five, six days. So that's going to be so good. Oh my goodness, what is this? Oh my goodness, my parents are going to die. Is a send out from Bailey's. My mum and dad are the biggest Bailey's lovers. And it's a colada one, limited edition. My, okay, my dad loves a pina colada. Anyone that knows him knows this. And it's a Bailey's, is it a Bailey's pina colada edition? Bailey's colada limited edition. My dad is going to absolutely scream. Let's go show him. I've just been sent something that's right up your street. Right. Okay, wait, stand back a bit, you're very tall. Am I gonna get wet? No, no, <laughs> no. Right, close your eyes and put your hands out. This has literally been made. Close your eyes. It's been made for you. Open. Oh! Bailey's Collada. I know, that's good. That's going to be nice. Yeah. Oh. I know, it was that right up your street. Get that chilling. I know. Oh. I want to smell it. Bailey's I want to taste it. Yeah, I can I have a little taste if you got yeah, a... Do you want to get your glass? Yeah. Oh, that smells like holiday. Ooh, it so looks look coconutty, that. It's creamy, it? isn't it? Yeah. Oh. Is it great? <laughs> How stunning this is. It's absolutely spot on it's exactly what i wanted it to be and it fits like a dream i wear it with some little heels or maybe even ballet flats i have a couple of talks that i'm doing in like the evening so i think this is quite a nice like evening wear dress but it's still pretty modest so i like that okay i thought i was pushing it a little bit with the cups because it being a small yes if i look down i can see straight down so that's not good too much material which i'm really sad about because i actually ordered a sarong to match and it was going to be this cute little set that i was going to wear in italy and i do think think it's so gorgeous it just uh i'd have to stuff it and i don't know if uh i'm that committed 
don't think I am. So it's the next day and I realised I never explained to you what happened with the damp in the kitchen and a few of you asked when I posted the stories whilst I was actually at the house so I thought I would explain but I very excitingly won a new camera on auction last night that I'm so excited about. I am such a perfectionist when it comes to like my kit and making sure my kit's up to date and that I have lenses that I like and all that jazz and there's been this camera body that I've had my eyes on for about six months and it was just too expensive so I've been doing that thing where I've been like bookmarking a load on auction sites and finally last night I won one at such a good price I paid like half retail and I'm so excited but it also reminded me that I got this kit from Joby and from Manfrotto I haven't shown you it yet. Well, I did show you on Snapchat, so I guess some of you have seen this, but I use a Manfrotto uh, tripod every day. You're on it right now. I also use a Manfrotto tripod as my actual, you know, big tripod when I film. So I got some new bits ready to have my kit up to date for the travels I'm doing this summer and also for the moving vlogs. So the first thing that I got is a travel tripod. This does come with a bag, but I actually quite like packing it in my suitcase like this because I can slip like things into it and it holds them in place so yes I got this tripod this is like a full-size tripod and it's super light so that's the first thing and this one is Manfrotto tripod they they do the best tripods like all all of the tripods that I use are from Manfrotto I also got a new mini Manfrotto tripod uh that you're actually on right now so i will link that one down below that's what i use for kind of vlogging what i really need is one of these mini tripods that actually gets higher but i guess that's not possible because where would it go when it's not high i don't know i feel like definitely in the next few years someone needs to like develop a new tripod for vlogging anyway i got some bits most of these are for the house for like my new studio but for the travel this summer i got these bemo lights i thought these were really cool so these are joby and basically i got the two because i thought i could put them like either side like this or even when i'm traveling and i'm filming my get dressed with me's and i need to like even right now lighting up the background would be so helpful because it's so dull in here and with when it's really flat light outside it's just the contrast is too much and yeah so it'd be really handy to use these to light up the background and they're also super small and travel friendly so I'm excited to unbox these let's have a little look because these are going to hopefully be part of my my summer kit oh these are such a good size I love that they come with a protective cover how insane so what I would probably do is just pop them like either side of the frame just pointing up to the ceiling look at the difference that makes to how nice the shot looks it's so dull and like the contrast is so high and then it especially if i have two either side it's just going to balance the light out so much i think this is going to be such a game changer for me and the fact they're wireless is amazing you just charge them up i'm going to pop this on charge right now just so i know ready for my trip because i literally go tomorrow that everything's going to be charged up and ready to go. Sticking on the theme of lights, I got a couple of studio lights, but they're panel lights. Now I hate filming with artificial lighting. I hate to say it, I really do, but I've been told that's because I just haven't found the right lights, which, okay. I'm listening, I'm listening. I got these BMO ones, again from Joby, and they're like, they're panel lights, so they're flat, they shouldn't take up too much room. They don't look quite as, like, they look like they're gonna diffuse the light quite well, just from what it looks like. So I'm really intrigued, because the goal would be to have kind of one either side, and then I do need to find something actually to light up the background of my shot when I set up my, like, studio space, and I need a headlight. So we're getting there, you know, I think it's definitely something when it comes to, like, setting up cameras, lighting studios, a lot of it is is trial and error and a lot of it is taking your time to ensure you get it right so i got a pair of these actually because everything has to be balanced i've seen a couple of people using these and of course i did my research and saw reviews so i got those i picked up a couple of microphones as well so firstly i got this joby wavo uh this is very similar to the microphone that i'm using right now to vlog with which by the way is spot on i basically needed another one because my other microphone that i use my main camera 
is broken and I can't fix it. And it was like a £600 microphone and it's really frustrating because these are way more affordable and I have never had more compliments on my audio than when I'm using the one I'm using right now, which is very similar to this. So again, I was looking at the reviews. This is supposed to be really good. So we'll try it out. And then I also got this stand mic. This I'm going to use for voiceovers. If I decide to pick up my podcast anytime soon, I will use this. And because I want to have this set up and ready at all times when I move, I got the boom arm as well. So that way my voiceovers aren't going to be like, because I get to the end of editing and the voiceover is one of the last things I do. And it's so frustrating to have to go and set up a whole microphone setup. That I'm like, oh, I'll just use the mic on the camera. I'll just use the mic on my phone. And it's just not good enough. It ruins the video every time I do it. And I'm like, no, that sounds terrible. And I end up setting up the whole thing. So having a more kind of permanent setup is going to be a dream and this is exciting but let me explain the damp situ in the kitchen whilst i unbox the other one of these because i do want to put it on charge so last time i did a house update basically the kitchen was damp and i was saying that my neighbor was having to sort it because it was on their property so as with anything when it comes to kind of party wall disagreements anything like that it can get a bit confusing not even in terms of it being messy just in terms of figuring out whose responsibility it is so then it can get fixed. And I'm really lucky that I have literally such a lovely neighbor and they were like, yeah, no, totally. We take responsibility for half of it if you will take responsibility for half. And I was just like, heck yeah, that sounds like a dream because it meant that there was gonna be no legal involvement, no disputes, no, do you know what I mean? No mess. I was just so keen to get it sorted so I could proceed. So they actually sorted everything. They got a damp report done or a roof report basically to find out the problem. They got it booked in to get it fixed and it was fixed last week as which is amazing so it's all been done but the wall hasn't had time to dry out from the damage so that's what we're basically waiting for right now so uh the doors have been put on today i am not going to show you because i'll go and film it and actually show you like on camera and not just a random you know photo but the doors have been put on and then the builder's putting on the kitchen door like actual internal door so we can shut that room up and put a dehumidifier in there so that's kind of where we're at that is how it was fixed basically the neighbors sorted it as quickly as they could which was really nice but with anything there's always like a few weeks lead time so it definitely sets back maybe about a month which is really annoying but these things happen and as with anything you know it's, it's how you deal with the, these things it's not it's not what they are it's how you deal with them and i'm really pleased with how it's been dealt with and i'm just ready to you know keep moving but if you've made it this far in the video please give it a like it means the world if you're sat here thinking i actually kind of do look forward to these vlogs please do let me know by giving it a like uh because i love doing these and it just makes my day when you guys take the time to you know show me that little bit of we're actually enjoying it but don't forget the code that i have for skin and me it's on the screen right now if you want to try the spf because you get it free with the daily doser and i will see you in the next video thank you for watching goodbye